Glass blowing has been around since the height of the Roman Empire. It was around that time when people discovered that molten glass could be inflated by blowing into a hollow tube and shaped by the human touch. We're telling the story around the piece with our design and a lot of it has the metallics and the colors um, tend to line up. So it's that flavor, it's that poetic story. It all begins with glass that is melted in a furnace at over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The glass emerges as a pliable gob dangling precariously from the end of a scalding hot blowpipe. Once the gob is secured, the other end of the five-foot steel or iron pipe is cooled in a barrel of water and the glass blower can set to handling and shaping the delicate mass. We start early in the morning choosing our colours, choosing the colour of the vessel. We want the palette to um, absolutely go with that one specific piece. We have to have our design ready to go. We have to have things planned out. We know seconds make a difference. And we're not only making the piece, we're counting, we're timing, we're listening for the pitch of the glass when we ding it on the metal table that we have our design on. Once we take our last gather of crystal over our bubble, we're going to roll it into that design and uh, let that spontaneity occur within boundaries of our design. After the vessel is formed to the desired shape and colour, it's placed in a kiln that allows the glass to cool down slowly over 24 hours, keeping it from cracking under thermal stress. Once cooled, the glass can be ground, polished, engraved and detailed further.